Well, welcome to today's free webinar on staying out of the mass consciousness, everyone. So how's everyone feeling today? Okay, yep, so everyone's a bit more shy, so no worries. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into today's webinar. Now, what I thought we would discuss on today is just the staying out of the mass consciousness. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Now, I mean, the reality is when we live on this planet with just all these different people, these different dogs, different animals and creatures and all, the reality is until we leave this planet in some way or another, we will always be vulnerable to picking up shit from other people and everything around us. And so really it's a matter of staying out of that mass consciousness, making sure that you don't allow yourself to get entangled in that drama, in that fucking mess. Because the moment you do, that's when you'll find yourself in trouble. You'll, that's when you'll find yourself having health problems. You'll find your mind just racing a million miles per hour. You'll find it difficult to speak your truth and be who you are. You'll put on all these masks and all this other type of shit like that. Because, I mean, the reality is, whatever is going on in the mass mind, whatever is going on with the people, I mean, you need to make sure that you don't, you're you not taking that on. And the way that you would do that is by being in your own energy. Now, I mean, it can be difficult, especially when you're an empath and really feel for people. Because when you feel for them, the first instinct is to try to help them. And I myself have fallen into that in times past. But um, simply put, I mean, that's not what we want because not only will you bleed yourself dry, but you'll also be stopping the other person from growing and creating something magnificent for themselves. Because the truth is we do need to go through challenges and hardships regularly because they are what help us grow and they are what help us to evolve and become truly great. And then by, go, by falling into that mass consciousness, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. And uh, like I said, it will cause all kinds of health problems and that other stuff that I mentioned. Whereas by contrast, when you start to come out of that, come out of that system, what then happens is you'll find that you'll be much happier, you'll be much more fulfilled, and uh, you'll actually be in your own energy space and you won't feel so drained and you'll actually be energized. You'll have purpose and real meaning in your life. You'll manifest the money and the things that you actually want rather than just endless dramas and shit that doesn't even belong in your life in the first place. So, <clears throat> and it's because I mean, with the mass consciousness in simple term is the consciousness or the energy of a collective population. So of the world of people around you, wherever you live. So it's important that you're always doing clearing on yourself because it's just constant maintenance really. And uh, basically constant, and it's like a constant time bomb almost. So, I mean, basically what that means is that well, it's, we're always going to have these issues around. So the reality is we need to make sure we keep it under control and that, it, that we don't let it affect us. Cause that's also how we'll engage in excessive and bad behaviors. Like we've been talking about in times past as well, because I mean, uh, um, as we've seen in the last 30 odd years or so, I mean, mental health has become much more recognized. It's become much more mainstream and people are recognizing how, um, how emotions are actually linked to diseases, to accidents, to injuries and all kinds of stuff that we experience on the daily or, and, and traumas and stuff that we just haven't dealt with. And, uh, because I mean, as we know, I mean, being around people and all, it, 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 it does get very draining because I mean, there's all kinds of different mixes. You've got some people who do have good energy, but then you also have those who just have the, who have the energy of a fuck of like a fucking snake and, it, and their energy is just from just fucking shit. And you don't want to be around it because it's heavy or they're carrying a lot of darkness, just all kinds of horrible shit like that. <clears throat> and the reality is 
I mean, if you just bitch and moan and complain about the situation and picking up other energies and that you'll always be like that, then you will stay like that and you'll stay and you'll stay a loser basically because I mean, well, the more we complain about it and put all that charge into it, the less we're likely we are to find that solution and we're just going to fall into victimhood and be an energy vampire and blame something outside of us instead of taking that personal responsibility and actually facing it and dealing with it properly and then letting it go. And then once we've done that, we then release it out of our system because the last thing we want is emotions or other things to be stuck in our system, but, um, especially if it's absorbed from other people and the mass mind. Because I mean, we've already got our own shit to deal with. We do not need to take on an extra load. Not to mention it goes completely against what the higher councils and what the higher masters and the scriptures are actually all about. <clears throat> so it goes beyond that. It goes beyond just the matter of clearing the energy out of our system. It also, it also extends to every other area of your life. And that's the reality of living in this world with a more quantum and like a, a deeper level. Because although, although we are physical, like in our body, we also are very much spiritual. So the spiritual and physical world are very much one and the same. <laughs> They're not really different from one another. Now, obviously they do have their differences, but really, I mean, whatever is going on in earth goes on in heaven, whatever goes on in heaven goes on in earth. And it's just a constant kind of cycle almost. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just share our screen and we're going to do a clearing around the mass mind. Okay, so now everyone just focus on this code and inhale it to your chakras and your aura. And just imagine it there and close your eyes. And allow yourself to just really breathe and get into that deeper brain state. And really just feel and acknowledge and give yourself permission to allow the mass consciousness energies that you picked up to just come up and really just allow them to filter out just and just own it. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we now call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron and Christ and mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that each person here be cleared of any negative energies picked up from the mass consciousness, the mass mind, help them to come out of that consciousness, come out of that Babylonian system. And we now bring each person back into their own energy space. 
and we remove any discarnates in the way of this and by providing a third order escort to escort them to the astral planes justly earned now. Contain them if they resist and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. We also release any emotions picked up from the mass mind, any fears, anxieties, nervousness, anger, sadness, uncertainty, or any other related emotions. We now draw that out, release it from their system and rebalance each person here of the nervous system and in all parts of their being now to Asia in today. And we also clear any erraticness in the mind as well and clear any pain in the heart and help them to bring calmness and peace to their mind, to their heart and their body and spirit and really rebalance the mind and the heart to work together. And keep and help them to stay out and keep out of the drama that is the mass consciousness and help each person here to get focused on their purpose, themselves, their connection with God and everything else in their life, in order to help them, to help others simultaneously after that now. We now strengthen each person here, bring them that strength. And soften their heart, continue to activate them into their original design and blueprint. And we now pour in that golden liquid light and send in the love from the higher mother and father. and clear out any remaining residues or heaviness now. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Okay, so yeah, so I guess everyone's a bit quiet then today. Okay, so clearly I guess there are no final questions or comments. So now what we'll do is end it here, everyone. So I thank you all again. Uh, it was another great session, another great clearing. And as always, if you ever need to discuss options with me of working with me one-on-one -on -one or anything like that. What we'll do, is I'll now put my email in. Feel free to reach out to me at william at the awakening within.net, which I'll now put in the text chat. So I thank you again, everyone, and make sure you drink plenty of water, get a good sleep tonight and allow it to integrate. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.